Patrick Raval. Today we're going to do another shoulder assessment and it's called the single arm lat pull test. Now a lot of people ask me why should I check if my left or my right has a slight deficiency. Well guys it's very simple. A lot of people create progressive scoliosis in the lower back. A lot of people come with bicipital tendonitis, a lot of shoulder tendonitis, type 3 shoulder blade postures, maybe a little bit of uh, stiffness in the shoulder when you're training, let's say you're doing your lat or you're doing some rows and you're getting a lot of stiffness in the front of a shoulder. That's all due to an overdeveloped lat. So if you don't know this, you're creating, you're promoting all these deficiencies in the body. The body starts to rotate and compensate and then it's a lot harder to fix basically all those inflammation and those tendons. So if you want to know how to fix it, it's very simple. Uh, what you're going to do, the test is also going to be uh, the training program. So we're going to take, let's say, a pulley. So uh, this is a band. And what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, tension that's equal to about 10 rep max, okay? And then you're going to pull with a nice, beautiful straight. You're going to pull and come back slowly, controlled manner. And you're going to do a 10 rep max, okay? So you're going to notice that if you can do 10 reps on one side, the other side might not do it. So in my case, I can do an easy 10 rep on this side. But on this side, when I did my 10 rep max, I could only do 7 reps. So I have a lot of deficiencies in the right lat which caused me a lot of problems with uh, glenohumeral impingement below 90 degrees. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that if you've got more than a 10% deficiency, which means if you've got 9 and 10, 9 reps and 10 reps, you're fine. But if you're 7 and 10, you've got a lot of problems coming towards you and you might even create some problems that will take a lot longer to fix like um, um, shoulder tendonitis and bicipital tendonitis on the long run. So guys, test it out. Let me know what you think of. And if you want after, now let's say you found out, okay, I've got 7 on 10 on the right side, I'm going to be doing some single arm lat pull downs and I'm going to strengthen that side and then I can do maybe my rows and get equal tension on both and not create all these shoulder problems and impingements out there. So guys, try it out. Let me know what you think. Again, thank you so much for subscribing for my channel and I'll see you next time. Check the camera.